Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I've been away for a bit. I have moved twice since I last uploaded and have been completing my pharmacy internship. Today's video is about another day in the life of a pharmacy student, which is me, a struggling fourth year pharmacy student who is sleep deprived and also addicted to caffeine. I usually set my alarm to 6 a.m. but I tend to hit the snooze button a lot or on days that I do wake up early, I would stay in bed with my phone for a bit so I don't actually get out of bed until 7 a.m. Never been the type for giving up Complicated situations only make it worse Cause just get it started, it's not enough so the first thing I do when I get out of bed is to brush my teeth and wash my face. I have been using this Sephora gel cleanser for a few years now and because I have really sensitive dry to normal skin, I find that this product works best for my face. It's super gentle and also refreshing to use in the morning. I'll be around when you need me, promise I won't be only even on my worst days, my worst days. For breakfast, I either make myself a quick cup of ramen noodles or an instant oatmeal with fruits. I'm not a breakfast person, but I usually force myself to eat to save myself the embarrassment of stomach growling in the middle of my work shift. We all know that's not cute, so yeah, breakfast it is. Now it's time to get ready for work. I am currently a pharmacist intern and because of COVID-19, I am required by my work to wear a mask. This saves me a lot of time from getting ready in the morning. I just use the IT Cosmetic Matte CC Cream in the color medium to cover my dark circles and red spots. When I'm not lazy though, I also like to put on eyeliner with this pen I got from Japan. As for my work schedule, I work from 9am to 5pm. My typical workflow involves a lot of drug counseling, completing patients' prescription orders like filling, typing, and dispensing medications. I also give a lot of phone calls for refill requests, prior authorizations, prescription call-ins or transfers, and also insurance billing. Once I get home from work and depending on the day, I would exercise for at least 30 minutes. I'm currently doing a 2 weeks Chloe Ting app challenge with my friend, so even when I'm tired or really exhausted, I try to push myself to exercise. I haven't been to the gym since it closed down in March and that makes me really sad. I feel like my muscles are slowly degrading and I'm just turning into a ball of cholesterol, so I try to eat less and work out on most days. Even though you're stressed about the small shit sometimes Nothing I can say to you could change up your mind I'll get on your nerves and then we'll fight Give you all the space you need in on those nights, yeah Even on your worst days, your worst days When you get in my face, tripping on something that I've done, yeah I would never listen, I would come back some run out on you After a much needed warm shower, I usually take this time to unwind in my bed. I normally watch Netflix, listen to lo-fi music, or also play Animal Crossing on my desk.
For dinner tonight, I'm having an at-home sushi date with my boyfriend. He usually brings home food on Fridays to celebrate the end of the work week. I don't wanna let you down. It's the only thing I think about every morning. You know my life ain't figured out. But I promise if you stick around, it'll never get boring. We'll spend nights cheap red wine. Look at flats, even though we can't afford them. I don't wanna let you down. I don't wanna lose you now. Will you stay? Even when you wanna walk away. When times get bad, we can learn. Here I'm just working on my presentation that I have to present to my preceptor on my last day of the internship. My topic is about the coronavirus and I will place a link down below for you to use the same template on Microsoft PowerPoint to be able to print it into a board like this. I also study as much as I can at night for my Netflix exam. Most nights I'm either too lazy or tired, so I end up only studying for about 30 minutes. But hey, at least I tried. But yeah, that's pretty much my day. I usually read a few pages before I sleep. I'm currently finishing up this book called When Breath Becomes Air. I highly recommend you guys to check it out. I've been very busy working and studying and I'm super grateful that you guys are understanding and are still here with me on this journey. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys again very soon. Please stay safe and healthy. Bye guys.